Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. I'm Amber and it is Weigh In Wednesday, the time of the week when I give you an update on my 103 pound weight loss journey. Just got out of the hairdresser, so my hair is a little crazy right now. <laughs> I'll fix it, but you know, everybody styles it differently and um, this wouldn't normally be the way I would style it, but I do overall like the cut and the color, so there's that. All right, so I'm out and about today, so this is going to be a little short, um, a little sweet. <laughs> so last week I said my weight was 185.8. Um, this week my weight is not 185.8. <laughs> it's 186.0. Yeah, not very happy about that. Although I will say several days last week, it was also 186 and, but it happened, so happened that Wednesday it was 185.8. As usual, weight fluctuates, but we had my older son's birthday celebration. <laughs> my older son and my younger son are uh, one and a half weeks apart um, in many years, but um, anyway, so we've had a lot of birthday celebrations. So I did have a tiny slice of, a small slice of ice cream cake. I made a roast, scalloped potatoes, green beans. We had veggies and dip, you know, we had all of it. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I had all of that and I'm sure the cheese and all of that didn't help. So um, what are we going to do moving forward? Well, I would say uh, one change that I do plan on implementing um, is fewer carbs. You know, hubby, I tell you what, he is doing so well with his weight loss journey. You know, he's he's scared <laughs> to weight loss right now because he's pre-diabetic. And so he has lost now 25 pounds since the end of May. It's crazy. Um, crazy good. <laughs> I'm happy for him, <laughs> but it's amazing how the pounds are just dropping. Um, but he is doing essentially very low carbs, very low, no rice. And that's a big thing for him because he's Filipino. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, his favorite thing are these carb balance, um, tortilla wraps. They're actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, he doesn't eat very many carbs at all. And, uh, you know, funny when I first started my weight loss journey and I was still on Weight Watchers at that point, um, I consumed very few carbs, I would say. Um, yeah, definitely low carb because there were more points and I was trying to stay within my certain points, right? The first year I was on Weight Watchers, I lost 55 pounds. And then the second year being um, last year, I lost 10 pounds. <laughs> and this year I've done a lot of maintaining. But, you know, I was talking to a lady in the hairdresser and kind of sharing that with her. And she said, well, at least you've proved that you can maintain. I think it, she th said, you know, she thought it was a good thing that I was losing slowly because that means that I will be more likely to keep the weight off. And I like the way she's thinking. <laughs> but, um, you know, like I said, I started out this journey very low carbs. And I think I switched gears somewhere along the way to let myself have more carbs. For one, I was a, a little hangry. <laughs> it's more filling that way, you know. And I missed my carbs because I'm a carbs girl. But where I am in this juncture of my journey, um, I think it would help me to kind of kickstart things again. So that's what I'm going to do. Really watch my carbs um, in the coming week. I ha In the exercise front, which is our fourth um, key uh, toward healthy living in our series, our 12 week series. We talked about clean eating, sleep and mindset. And so today's word is, I don't have my little flashcard with me because I'm out and about, but it is exercise. <laughs> Insert flashcard here, exercise. <laughs> and so we know the benefits of exercise are, it helps to maintain a healthy weight and it lowers our blood pressure. It uh, helps our bone density, which as we age, this is super important. And uh, you know, it just helps 
over our overall health helps to um, keep our blood sugar consistent so exercise is so important also it helps to elevate our moods it releases those endorphins so yeah i've been continuing with my zaz whole body vibration machine i've been doing it every day you guys so i'm pretty proud of myself with that i think that's definitely helping so yes so sometimes many times along this journey you have to readjust your sales <laughs> you constantly have to change things up because you know our bodies kind of get a little complacent and they get used to the things that we're doing and then more additional change is more difficult so yeah i am continuing with my journaling which i do think that really helps me to process things and kind of think things out and um, kind of map out any uh, improvements, any changes that I need to make. So uh, comment below, let me know how you guys are doing in your journey. I always like to hear from you. And if this content uh, helps you and motivates you, I'd invite you to press that like button and subscribe. Um, because you know, the feedback is important, not only to me, but it helps to promote my channel in YouTube's algorithm. So feedback is crucial. <laughs> so yeah, I am definitely going to do more of the same, continue with my Zaz machine. It's been so hot here. Today's kind of a rainy overcast day here. And let's see, it's 84 degrees right now, but we have been in the 90s for forever. Um, too hot to be outside to do much of anything, but you know, we do have the indoor exercise equipment, so there's that. But uh, I hope you all are getting some exercise um, in some way where you are. Um, like I said, comment below and let me know how you're doing and I will see you soon. God bless.